All right, so I'm gonna be talking about saying what you mean, and what I mean by this is literal speech and why it's important in everyday life. So first, I wanna talk about why literal speech is hard. First of all, it might be hard because you're just having difficulty finding the words, or second of all, it might be hard because you don't want to be mean. Another reason is because sometimes you meant something else. This might be because you can't find the words or just because you meant something else. Another reason is sometimes it's just easier. Now I want to talk about figurative unclear speech and sarcasm and when it's not appropriate first. Commands. No. Okay. <laughs> So for commands, I want them to do exactly what it is that I want them to do, so I'm going to be as clear as I possibly can. And the same goes for strangers. Um, I don't know if anybody's like me, but I have very dry sarcasm. The thing about that is that if they're a stranger, they're not going to know how to interpret what it is that I'm saying because I have such dry sarcasm. And when it is appropriate, of course, is art music and poetry, and the reason being is because they go into it knowing that you very well might not be literal. You could be figurative or unclear or sarcastic. They know that going into it, so they have every time to digest and think of something else that you might possibly mean. Who cares? As much as pseudoscience would like to tell you, people can't read your minds, and this is important because you can't get it what you want unless you tell them what you want. And another thing is that sometimes the easier thing is not quite the right thing. And why does this really matter? First of all, like I said, you can't get what you want unless you ask for what you want. And also, if you don't tell them what you want, then mistakes happen. People sometimes don't interpret what you want exactly the way you want it. And finally, in the long run, it's faster. Because, I mean, you have to clarify what you meant and then they don't understand, so you clarify again and you clarify again. When in the long run, if you were to just say, shut up, leave me alone, I don't want to be around you, it would have ended it all right there. What is this? What is this junk here? No, I don't want that. To allow it, thanks. Yeah. Okay. So this is particularly funny to me because I'm from the north. Here, soda is Coke. Every type of soda is Coke. Uh, this happened to me once at a football game that I had a friend that asked me to go grab her a Coke. So I did just that. I came back with a Coke and she was upset because I didn't get her Dr. Pepper. But the thing is that she asked for Coke. Um, here's another example of when it's easier to just reply with something as simple as Coke, but at the same time, it's not what she wanted. And from now on, consider these following things. First, how well does this person know me? Do they know that sometimes I'm unclear, sarcastic, or figurative? And if they don't, then don't do that because they're not gonna know what you want. Secondly, am I instructing them? I work at a restaurant, in fact, I'm lead hostess there, and if I want to, someone to go to the bag, grab the bin of silverware, bring it back, and refill the hostess stock, then that's what I'm gonna tell them to do. I'm not going to be unclear about it and, you know, beat around the bush because I want them to do exactly that. Thirdly, are they whiny babies? <laughs> I know it's funny, but it's true. If someone's going to get upset that you're being sarcastic or unclear or anything like that with them, then perhaps that's not the thing that you should do with them. Perhaps it would be much easier for you to be clear and then not only do you avoid time wasting, but you also avoid them being a whiny baby. And lastly, just how literally will they take you? Are they going to, you know, do exactly what you say? Well, then maybe you should say exactly what you want to say. So from now on, if you follow these things, and it's true for unclear speech, figurative language, and sarcasm, you'll be good, and now you know.